you write and write. And I find you also traded some of your dreams for magic beans to feed an upcoming family of nine gentle giants of children who would feel, find, and grow to love the smell of the ocean in their mother's blood. You are mostly smooth current, but some days you reach your boiling point when the heat of your, of your grown children's wounds raises the temperature. I know it is because you have sacrificed your joints to be the walls that hold this house together. Even unswept floors are acts of sin against all the life in your years you have given. My name is Fumsho Aye Jima, and I am the Deputy Festival Director of Boca City Fest. We are the preeminent um, literary festival in the Caribbean, especially the English-speaking Caribbean. And our focus is on ideas, literature, and generally anything to do with the culture. And this week we are in San Fernando. Uh, this is our third year in San Fernando, uh, but the fifth year of our existence. And it has been an exciting day, especially uh, considering the number of people who have come out. Uh, the average uh, number of uh, people in each event is about 85, which is fantastic. And, um, and the beautiful atmosphere of uh, San Fernando Hill is also an excellent place for uh, people with ideas about literature, music, poetry, and so on to come together and share their ideas. We are also excited this year to be able to celebrate some of the uh, citizens of the uh, San Fernando area, especially Andiago, and uh, the whole session we just, uh, just finished. And the next uh, session is going to be uh, the introduction of Sabrina and Ranaran. Ranaman, uh, who is a new writer uh, coming out of um, Canada with a um, Trinidad background, and we're excited to be introducing her to the Trinidad public. She has just published um, a best-selling uh, book, and we are happy to have her with us. And then we're going to close up the day uh, with a, a, a program which is titled uh, the, "The Page Meets the Stage." So we're having. Uh, uh, poets who are normally um, read, uh, written poets, uh, they're going to be uh, performing with spoken poets, and that is going to be the finale for the evening. So, um, so far, we are very pleased with the way things have been going. I'm Sabrina Ramanan, I'm a Canadian writer. I've just written a book called Nothing Like Love that takes place in a 1974 Trinidad in the fictional village of Chance. The book is about the power of reputation and gossip and how one young woman overcomes social disgrace and paves herself a new life. I became involved with this festival that they found me on social media. Actually, somebody got a copy of my book in Canada and brought it back to Trinidad and uh, it fell into the right hands and they contacted me and invited me over to Trinidad. So I'm here. Um, promoting the book and also sort of coming full circle um, meeting for the people who I originally wrote this book for. So my name is Karina, I'm 18 years old, I'm an aspiring novelist. Um, I first heard about the literature first probably last year. So that was the first one I came to, that was the one in South as well. I was really interested in it because, like I said, I'm a writer, so I wanted to kind of get involved in the industry itself because the creative industry, I think, now is booming in Trinidad, and that's something I'm kind of excited for to see where it goes. So, um, this year's um, festival I was especially interested in because they had the uh, session in terms of our first peoples, and that actually happens to coincide with a book that I'm trying to write right now, my first novel I'm trying to write about the first people. So when I saw that, I was really excited. I was like, okay, so I have to come to this year one as well, just for this week as well. Um, I'm really glad that the Literature Festival is something that goes on because uh, it's kind of hard then, just like on a regular basis, to get involved with other creative minds then to kind of gauge myself of where I am and where I want to be. So when I come to things like this, and I see other people who are like even probably more experienced. It's a really inspirational experience for me because I can see, well, I want to be like that person. I want to be on that level. This is something that I want to 
uh, trying to devote myself to that. Uh, so the festival is really a great thing for me. I even participated in um, the book of Speak Out, the Spoken Word Challenge, I don't know if you know about that one, but the Two Cents Bookman, they hosted that and they are kind of aligned with the festival. And that was really a good experience for me as well. I kind of have no branch out in terms of my own writing. And so I kind of did poetry instead of just normal um, fiction. So that was good for me as well. I'm glad, another thing I'm really glad about the film festival is that they have one down south because most of the things that go down usually go down in north side and it's a bit hard to commute since I live way down south here, not even in San Fernando but more like Princess Down side. So this coming to south and catering to the needs of like other people not just in the northern range is really great for me because it really feels them like they're trying to reach out to the entire population and get into their get into the different markets and just kind of like expose everybody to what literature could be like in Trinidad. And it's great, it's great. All the stories that I've seen, all the books, all the poems that I've heard of such different range, they're so different, they just they not like anything I've seen before then and it's great. I'm really happy that the festival is something that we have and I hope that it just continues to get better in the coming years really. And I hope that one day, probably in a few years, I won't be here talking to you as just a um, outside a participant but maybe someone within the festival itself helping them to coordinate. That would be great. So that, that's really great. Hi, I am Shivani Ramajan. I work for the NGC Boca Surfest. I'm the festival's official blogger and social media manager. And what that means is basically I monitor the digital pulse of the festival from Facebook to Twitter and create content for our website. Articles and post essays, interviews, that kind of thing. Uh, today we're here at the 2015 NGC Boca Surfest South, which is our last festival for the year. We run three festivals every year, the main one in Port of Spain, one in Tobago, and one in South. Um, the NGC Boca Surfest is a festival not just in books, but of words and ideas. We like to celebrate what's best about local writing, writing within the Caribbean diaspora, which includes writers from Canada, England, Australia, many different parts of the world who have Trinidadian connections, or some who don't. And the idea is to bring writers, publishers, and people who are interested about these ideas together so they can have conversations, stimulate each other, grow and learn together. We're different from other festivals in that there is no, there's no sort of forbidding aspect necessarily. We like writers to engage with readers and vice versa. So whereas some festivals are more conference style in that they take a slightly more academic approach to things, we like to keep things very much on the ground, warm and familiar, and it is really about bringing that joy and that sustained passion about literature, that curiosity, about words and language. It not, does not just extend to novels, but to short story collections, to volumes of poetry, to screenplays, to spoken words, any way in which words are related and transmitted and shared with a group of people who have that love of language and of expression in common, no matter how they seek to express it. I am overjoyed to look at the festival. I've been with the NGC Books Lit Fest since its inception in 2010, and I'm looking forward to better and brighter and even more ambitious things from this festival.